Hello, my name is Jason from septictank.co.uk and thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video today. I've been repairing and installing septic tanks and soakaways for about 17 years now and if you're experiencing septic tank or soakaway problems then I'm really sorry to hear that but please be rest assured by the end of this video I'll not only show you why you're experiencing the septic tank problems you're experiencing but I'll also show you how to fix them and save thousands. To start with I'm going to show you uh, a couple of short videos which will show you what a septic tank and soak away are, how they work and why they develop the problems you're experiencing. So to start with here's the first video and it's entitled what is a septic tank and soak away. A septic tank is a large holding tank buried underground and is connected to a soakaway. Houses that are not connected to a main sewer connection are generally connected to a septic tank. Wastewater from the property enters the septic tank. And once a septic tank fills up with wastewater, this wastewater then makes its way into an outlet pipe. And from there, the wastewater then enters the soakaway. The soakaway is basically designed to allow all the wastewater to naturally drain away into the soil. So what goes wrong? What causes 99% of all septic tank and soakaway problems? Cleaning products. Cleaning products such as bleach, washing powder, Dishwasher tablets and toilet cleaners kill septic tanks and have become the number one leading cause for all septic tank and soak away problems. Let me explain why. A healthy septic tank has its own ecosystem living inside it. Now, this ecosystem is made up of good bacteria and enzymes which clean the septic tank, keeping it healthy and making sure it functions normally. Now, cleaning products kill this ecosystem inside the septic tank and because the bacteria cannot treat the wastewater anymore, within a short space of time, an unnatural amount of fat and grease and sludge builds up on the bottom of the septic tank and this waste starts to rot and fester, releasing gases up through the drains and the soak away. And these gases produce the horrible odors and are the main reasons why many septic tanks smell really bad. But it doesn't stop there. The fat and the grease and the sludge continue to build up inside the septic tank until eventually it reaches the outlet pipe. Now, from there, the fat and the grease and the sludge then starts to make its way through this outlet pipe and enters the pipe arteries that lead to the soak away. And in time, the fat and the grease and the sludge start to choke and clog and block up the entire septic tank and soak away system. And once this happens, the soak away will stop working and the septic tank will start to overflow and back up to the house. Now, at this point, you normally have two options. Option one, jetting or rodding. Now, sometimes if debris such as sanitary towels or baby wipes get stuck in a pipe, rods are great for dislodging this debris and unblocking the pipe. But because fat, grease and sludge are semi-liquid, the drainage rods will just poke straight through it, making it impossible to unblock the pipes this way. Now, the other popular method is jetting, and many septic tank emptying firms have jetting equipment on their lorries and offer to blast high-powered water into the soakaway to try and unblock these pipes. Now, again, this sounds like a good idea, but in reality, it does more harm than good. Now, soakaway pipes are all surrounded by soil, so when high-powered water is blasted into them, the fat, the grease, and the sludge just get compressed, making the original problem even worse. Option two, septic tank emptying. Now, to try and remove the blockages and smells, many people get their septic tank sucked out. And whilst this sounds like a good idea, it doesn't really fix the problem. Let me explain why. Although the wastewater inside the tank is sucked out, the fat and the grease and the sludge which is causing all the blockages is still stuck in all the pipes that lead 
to and from the soakaway. And this sludge will continue to clog and block up the entire soakaway system. And because of this, the whole process will start all over again. Within a few days, a septic tank will fill up again with stagnant wastewater and start to smell. And at £200 each time to get the septic tank emptied, this method can soon start to become quite an expensive option. Option three is an amazing solution that will fix all your septic tank and soak away problems. Soak away worms are an incredible safe, clean, natural and organic solution. Worms have been around for thousands of years, breaking down and converting waste into safe, clean organic matter. Soak away worms will not only unblock your soak away from all the fat and the grease and the sludge, but they'll also keep it clean, preventing your septic tank and soak away from ever developing problems again. Soak away worms come in a large bucket. Simply take the lid off the bucket and tip the entire contents into the septic tank. The worms will then sink to the bottom of the tank, landing on top of the sludge. And very quickly, these worms will adjust to their new surroundings and will start burrowing and working their way into the fat and the grease and the sludge and they'll start breeding and multiplying. Now, from there, these worms will make their way deep into the main arteries of the soakaway, reaching into all the nooks and the crannies and the areas that rotting and jetting just cannot get to. As the worms eat all the fat and the grease and the sludge, they'll start cleaning and unblocking the sludge and the waste from the soakaway pipes, allowing the wastewater in the soakaway pipes to start flowing freely once again, enabling it to drain away naturally through the soakaway and into the topsoil. Soakaway worms will also save you hundreds of pounds in septic tank emptying costs. Because they eat all the fat and the grease and the sludge in the septic tank, you never need to get it emptied again because there's no sludge left to suck out. Soakaway worms unblock soakaways. Soakaway worms prevent blockages from ever occurring again. Soakaway worms will save you thousands in repairs and septic tank emptying costs. Soakaway worms are easy to install and are a one off treatment. Soakaway worms also come with a lifetime guarantee. But that's not all. With each bucket, we're also giving away an expensive free bonus gift. It's called Septic Tank Fertilizer. Now, if you've never heard of Septic Tank Fertilizer, it's one of my best-selling products and it's designed to protect your septic tank from the harmful effects of cleaning products. It also removes smells and revives dead sewage systems. Now, one year's treatment of this amazing bacterial product normally costs £149, but today you can have it for free with a bucket of worms. So how does septic tank fertilizer work? Well in each of the 12 water soluble sachets there are billions of organic bacteria and enzymes which remove smells, revive dead systems and prevent 99% of all septic tank problems. So how do you get septic tank fertilizer into your septic tank? Well, it's really, really easy. Simply drop one of the water soluble sachets into the toilet and let it dissolve, which generally takes about 30 seconds. As it dissolves, it will release billions of organic bacteria and enzymes into the water. Once it's dissolved, then simply just flush the loo. The organic bacteria will then leave the toilet and start making their way down the pipes that lead to the septic tank. And as that bacteria travels through the pipes, it will remove the germs and clean them as it goes. Once they enter the septic tank, the billions of organic bacteria and enzymes instantly get to work, removing smells and protecting your septic tank from the harmful effects of cleaning products.